kitchen table. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It is Saturday morning and I thought it'd be fun to do kind of a vlog style video today. I used to do a lot of these back when I first started this YouTube channel. But uh, it's Saturday morning here. We got dad's famous French toast yeah. for the boys. But we got an exciting one today. So Hopsco reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in trying out the new Sync Max electric bike. Um, if you guys watched video ago here, we did the, uh, the Xander Max electric scooter. Um, that was fun, but they sent me an electric folding bike now uh, that we're gonna try out. So today's mission is we're gonna fold that up, put that in the plane, head out to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. There's a bagel joint that makes awesome bagels. Hopefully they have locks and bagels in the morning. When we get there, we're gonna go to um, Charlie Romeo Echo Airport, uh, land, not gonna use a courtesy car, we'll unfold our bike, head out, grab some breakfast, um, and that's it. And I'll come home and hang out with these guys for the rest of the day. All right, let's head to the airport, peace. Close everybody. I love you. Covered in syrup. All sticky, go. Bye, bye. Run, child. Love you. Cute kid. All right guys, welcome back to the hangar. Like I mentioned in the video, today is about the Hofsco Sync Max electric folding bike. So let's get the airplane all pre-flighted, get all the cameras set up, everything like that. Get this folded up, put in the back of the plane, and let's head to Myrtle Beach for a bagel. Like a $150, $200 bagel. Alright, there's 1700 RPM. 
Everything's good. Two left should run rough and drop. It does. Two right should recover. It does. We're also watching our AGTs when we do this. One left should drop and run rough. It does. AGTs go up. They, that's what I expect. And all evenly as well. Prop phase only two four for full stop. Prop is working. I only do it one time. No need to do it three. I know a lot of people do, but you're just verifying that it's working and it is. No need to put extra stress on the prop. All right. Back down to idle. Free lean. Lean like crazy on the ground. All right. Flight controls and stabilizer trim. We'll check here. Works. Um, I've seen a few comments on my videos where people think I'm only doing a partial. Central traffic down at 352 um, Del Charlie. Final runway 24. Flight control Central check. Through to pilot. Central traffic. That's it in the Mooney. That is full deflection. It's not like in a Cessna 172 where you actually get 90 degrees. That's it. Full deflection. Full deflection. Full deflection. Full deflection. That's it in a Mooney. You hit the stops right there. So another fun Mooney fact. It's all push rods. Very tight. Very um, accurate controls. I love it. All right, we'll go flaps one, and the rest we're going to do at the runway. All right, final look around. I don't see anybody, don't hear anybody. Make a call. Uh, we'll go over to 120.7 after we take off, so we'll get that ready. We heard they're using 2.4, so that's where we're going to go. Uh, and that's it for the checklist for now. A little more. Get rolling. We'll test the brakes one more time. And they're working. They're working fine. Somerville traffic, Moody 79811 at the rear hangars. Taxi, runway 24, Somerville. Nope. So, like I said, headed to Myrtle Beach for a bagel. I've done this trip many times. I love this bagel spot. Um, so but today's the first time that I'm going to do it with my own transportation. Usually I just take the crew car, but um, today I'm going to take the new Hofsco Sync Max folding e-bike. So I literally folded that bike up and shoved it in the back of the plane, which is pretty cool. And in this Mooney, in this airplane with this baggage door, it just fits. So this is the max size I can fit in this airplane. Somerville traffic, Mooney 811 on the ramp, taxi runway 24, Somerville. While we're taxiing, if you guys are interested, you can follow me on Instagram, Tommy Flies a lot. I post a lot more on Instagram than I do on YouTube, much easier. Um, I'll also get a little glimpse into my day-to-day -day life on occasion, if that's something you're interested in. Uh, go ahead and check me out. Tommy flies a lot. There's also a link in my bio to uh, Tommy flies a lot. If you're interested in this scooter, I've also got a bunch of other links for discounts and uh, you know savings and things like that. Affiliations I'm doing with some other companies. So go ahead and check out the link in my traffic bio. Traffic short All right, final. We got traffic at short two final two four. As, as stated, so let's go through our checklist right now. Flaps good. Mixture. We'll do that on our final. Uh, flow, prop cow flaps are open, power boost, touch them both, they're good. Electronic fuel pump will do that, final flow, beacon nav light, lane light, where I want them for now. Seat belt on, door, confirm, we'll do the window in a minute. Traction lever is still clear. Uh, departure plan today, we're going to take off and depart off the left and downwind. So we're going to take off, turn left, depart off the downwind, head that way, head to the east. For the takeoff, it's hot today, we're heavy, I'm still planning to be off right about the 1,000 foot markers, or if not before. Anything goes wrong on the ground before that, we're coming to a stop. Anything goes wrong in the air, well, I'm cycling the gear, it's up, we're taking it straight ahead. Do we have to? Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Traffic, uh, 5605 Juliet, 4 miles on the 45 to the left, downwind, runway 24, we have the downwind traffic inside. That's all about traffic, Mooney 7, 9, or 8, Approaching one, one, runway, runway 24. Two, four. We'll be downwind departure to the east. Entered Number runway 24, 4,900 4, feet remaining. They're slow, plenty of time, don't even see them on final or anywhere near that, so we're good. Alright, let's focus here, guys. Here's 2-4. Oh. Get off the brake seals on the floor. Hold it on nice and easy. The engine feels good, it sounds good, it's everything I'm expecting, everything's in the green, RPM's good, airspeed's alive, maintain that center line. There we go, we're airborne, kept the brakes, that's a good positive brake, gear's coming up, gear's up, a little bit of forward traffic, 560 Juliet, left down, went for 2 4 Somerville. And we're waiting for the engine to die right now, that's what I'm thinking about. Maintaining my airspeed and I'm ready for it to die and push forward, I'm going right in the woods, flying into the crash site. All right, flaps are coming up. A little bit of forward trim to compensate for that. Speed's good. Engine's good. Once we get to 500 feet, we're going to pull the power back. Only because it's hot today, I want to keep the engine cool. There's 500. Power's coming back. RPM's coming back. 
as soon as I get to 2,500 RPM, I should be at about 700 feet. Yep, coming up to it. We'll make our left turn, crosswind. Somerville traffic, Moody, 7, 9, or 8, 1, 1, left crosswind, 2, 4, Somerville. Somerville traffic, Moody, 8, 1, 1, left downwind, 2, 4, Somerville. Yeah, Somerville traffic, Moody, 8, 1, 1, departing off the traffic, downwind, 11 2, 4, east 2 miles, Somerville. 600 feet below. You know what, guys? I could maintain VFR through this, but why would I? Um, I might. I might get to try to get a pop up IFR from Charleston. Okay, I think we're good for now. We'll get on course and we'll reassess. Similar with Tommy, Tommy, each of the three mic outputs, 10 miles to the And if we need to, we can always get a pop up IFR clearance into Myrtle Beach. Like I mentioned, we've got some pretty good thunderstorms off to our, our east right now. Um, but it does look like they're just hanging out there. Um, and if anything, they're going to move out. So I think we should be good. We'll have some clouds to deal with on the way home. Probably going to file IFR for the way home just to not deal with the visibility issues. But I'm liking our temperatures. So we can start leaning. Go to traffic down at 316. We'll go over to approach real quick. We don't need to listen to some of them anymore. All right. Climb checklist. Okay. Everything's still good. In the summer here, you're using your mixture more or less to keep the engine cool. I could be running it leaner. That would be better for my plugs and everything like that right now where I'm at the altitude that I'm at, but um, I need to keep the engine from, from getting too hot. And really, what I'm watching is my CHTs, my cylinder head temperatures. Yeah, there's some good, good storms out that way. I can see them powering up already. So that's going to develop as the day goes on. So we'll make it a nice quick trip and get home before all that happens, before it all really pops off. It's only 9 o'clock right now in the morning, so... Okay guys, up here at Cruise, we're going to hit our checklist. Manifold pressure, mixture prop. So manifold pressure, I like it. Mixture's looking good. Prop is set where I want it. Flaps are definitely up. Top flaps are closed. Power boost is open. Right there. Autopilot is set. GPS. Altitude 5.5. We got a message, we'll check that. Airspace alert. Boost pump and landing light. All good. So before we get there, well, let's go over some of the specs of this scooter. So, uh, first of all, it's 42 pounds, so as pilots, we definitely want to know what the weight is because we need to maintain our weight and balance and uh, just our overall weight. You know, it digs into our useful load, but 42 pounds, not bad. Um, as a 30 mile range, um, I'm guessing it's just on the battery. Obviously, it's got pedals, so if, if it if the battery dies, it just becomes a bicycle, so you can just pedal where you need to go, which is really nice. Um, and of course, you can extend that range if you're pedaling while you're using the electric motor. Um, so, really good range on it. Uh, 19 mile an hour top speed, obviously the lighter you are, the, the better top speed you're going to get. I get a little bit over that at my weight. 450 watt motor, 14 inch tires, um, and max rider weight, about 260 pounds, uh, they advertise. So, uh, definitely a budget friendly scooter, but as I said with the, or budget friendly bike rather, as I said with the scooter, with the Xander Max scooter, um, I'm pretty impressed with the quality at this price point. So it's, it, like I said, it's priced, budget friendly. Um, so, you know, again, as pilots, we spend, at least I spend all my money on fuel and this airplane. So um, I'm not looking for anything, anything extremely expensive. I'm looking for something to get me from that airplane to a restaurant or to the hotel, whatever I need to do. So this thing does that very well. The video you guys can see fits right in the back there of the Mooney. Moonies are pretty tight, so if it fits there, it probably fit in your plane too. Look at this beautiful, gorgeous day out here. That's that. The rest we'll do on the ground. I'm going to kill the cameras, get a pop of IFR into Myrtle Beach, and we will talk to you guys once we're on uh, approach. See you guys on the wall. Bye.
get a pop up IFR from Charleston. We're uh, currently descending. You guys saw that video of flying through those clouds. It was amazing. That's my favorite thing to do, IFR, is to get deviations uh, approved left and right of your course and then just swerve this this crazy different world, other world up in the clouds. It's just amazing. Here comes a cloud here. It's going a little quick, but it's a quick cloud, so we'll be all right. We're in the green still. Over to the instruments. Leveling 4,000. Your seatbelt's nice and tight. Oh, that was nothing. <laughs> okay. November 811, contact Myrtle Approach, 119.2. 119.2, Mooney 79811. Myrtle Beach Approach, Mooney 79811, 4,000. Mooney 79811, Myrtle Approach. The Myrtle altimeter 3014. You can expect lower once you're past departures at Myrtle, about another 10 miles. I-3014 and uh, Roger, 79811. Mooney 811, by heading 050, vector for right downwind. 050, Mooney 811. Alrighty, 050, go to heading mode. He's going to vector us for a right downwind. This is by far my favorite kind of flying. IFR in BMC. All right, we've got Myrtle Beach off to our right. Let's see if we can get it on video for you guys. Down there, see it through those clouds. Dirty Myrtle. Mooney 811, descend and maintain 1,700. Descend and maintain 1,700, Mooney 79811. All right, and we got to pull the power way back now because we're descending into some pretty big cumulus clouds, and that's going to be bumpy, so I want to be almost, if not, at my maneuvering speed, just a little under it. So we're going to slow it down, try to get down there. So we're at about 142 now, maneuvering speed's 132, so we're slowing down. That's good. Cumulus clouds aren't dangerous at this point. They're not, I mean, nothing's convective. It's just bumpy. So in a Mooney, in a slick airplane like this, you need to be aware of your speed, and your, uh, especially your maneuvering speed. Because this thing cruises well into the yellow arc, especially when you're down low, and especially when you're descending, so got to be wary of that. All right, about three knots over, and three miles an hour of our maneuvering speed as we're coming into this cloud. Very happy with that. There's our maneuvering speed. Your seatbelt's tight. You don't hit your head, and that's it. Actual IMC time is so valuable, you guys. So valuable. Bad, the ceilings are too high to uh, shoot an approach today, but... 2811, turn right, hitting 0 9 or 0 South Grand Strand in sight, out of that turn, 2 o'clock, 6 and a half miles. 0 9 or 0 will let you know we have it in sight, Mooney, 7 9 or 811. Approach, RNAV, 2-3 LPV. We'll load this in case, really I should have done that before, but I was expecting the visual, but there you go, now it's, that's loaded in case we need to shoot the RNAV. Because these ceilings look a little bit higher than what, or lower than what they said. So I got it in sight. Make sure I have it in sight once I get past these clouds, I do. Approach Mooney 811, we have uh, Grand Strand in sight. Mooney 811, cleared visual approach, runway 23, contact Grand Strand Tower, 124.6, see ya. Cleared for the visual, 2-3, over to Tower. See you later, Mooney 79811. Grand Strand Tower, Mooney 79 or 811, extended right base, runway 23, visual. 279 Strand Tower, morning, enter right base, runway 23, clear to land, wind is 2304. All right, clear to land, runway 23, Mooney 79 or 811. Oh my God, I love it. There we go, guys. So we are cleared to land, got the runway, excuse me, the airport in sight. Broke out just at the right time. I'm going to keep it at this altitude here, right about 1500. We'll select that. Keep an eye on it. I don't want to get too much lower out here. All right, bring that in because we're getting ready to land. Here, landing light on because we're coming up to the airport. Clean everything up here. Gas is on the tank that I want. That's confirmed. Mixture prop switches everything to go still, but we are going to do that once we start descending and turning final. Undercarriage is down, locked, pulled, and indicating. Mixture prop are set. We're a little high. Switch is on. Seatbelts are on. Yeah, we're really high. That's okay. We'll slip it in. That's what she said. <laughs> I turn and final for two tree. Just checking my heading, that makes sense to me. Thing looks good, airspeed's really good. 
We'll go two notches of flaps, help us slow down a little bit as well. One mile final runway two three. A little slip going. All right, gas is good. Undercarriage is down. Make sure and proper set. Switches are set. Seat belts are on. One notch of flaps to go if we need it. Needs perfect. 90 on final. We'll slow it down to 80 over the numbers. We will use our ne next notch of flaps. Gears down, gears down. Runway 23 confirmed. Hold the crab for now. We'll kick it in uh, right as we're flaring over the runway there. All right, we'll aim for the next taxiway. Speed's good. Kick out that crab. In that center line. Grand Strand 7, Meridian 821, Alpha Delta is on the visual 2-3. Here we go. Meridian 821, Alpha Delta, Strand Tower, on the right base, runway 2-3, we're four, 4 miles out. Okay, under the right base, four, we'll report 4 miles, 821, Alpha Delta. Meridian 811, turn left at Alpha 3, taxi in the ramp on taxiway, Charlie, have a good one. Left and up Alpha 3, and departing via Charlie, 811. Alright. RB655, Echo Bravo, Strand Tower. Tower right, 21 Alpha Delta, go to 4 mile right base, 2 3. We're 1 Alpha Delta, wind 2404, runway 2 3 clear to land. 2 3 clear to land, 8 2 Alpha Delta. Oh, how you, you doing? doing? Good, man, how you been? Doing pretty good. You gonna need any fuel? Uh, we'll top it off, please. Top off. Yes, sir. For a while, uh, probably like 90 minutes, something like that. I'm gonna head in town, grab some breakfast, and I'll be right back. That works. Cool. All right, thank you. All right guys, we're all squared away inside. It is hot as hell. I'm about to look up directions for this place and let's head to the breakfast. Guys, bagel acquired. I'm gonna eat it in the plane though, because I want to get home before the weather moves in over uh, Charleston. I know I'm back right here, but just gotta deal with it. We're gonna head back to the airplane. All right, guys. Well, mission success. The hops go sink max. Uh, got me to and from my destination, and it was awesome. I was very, I don't want to say very surprised, but pleasantly surprised. It was very comfortable. I rode it about four miles, um, four or five miles total, I think. And we just um, are showing one battery bar gone. Again, if the battery dies, it just becomes a bike, so no big deal. Braking was awesome. It was actually, this is what I was surprised about, how comfortable the seat was. I thought this was going to be a problem because it's a smaller bike. Um, but it wasn't and everything was comfortable. It was felt really solid, felt comfy, uh, got me to and from my bagel spot. Did not have to use a courtesy car here in Myrtle Beach. It's the first time that I've come out here and not needed that. So super stoked. And again, guys, um, if you guys are interested in something like this, check out the link in my bio uh, and use promo code TOMMYFLIES. It'll say $50 if you want one of these. Also, the Xander Max scooter, say $50 on that. So check out Hovsko, um, Google them, check the link in my description, all that. And uh, if this is something you're interested in, it's an awesome option for these small general aviation planes. Again, this is about as big as you wanna go, but super comfy, worked great, completed my mission, very happy with it. But these clouds are popping off. You can see it's even worse the other way. So I'm going to get in my plane, get pre-flighted, and get the heck out of here. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to. Tommy Flies a lot. All that jazz. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.